What's the sign that somebody was raised right? They do kind things. But you never find out about a nice thing or charitable act that they did directly from the masseur. For example, say they feed the homeless every other Saturday but you only find out because you bump into them as you're dropping off some donations they didn't record a video of themselves handing out biscuits and post it to social media. They put their cart in the cart return. The ability to take no for an answer. They treat servers, doormen, retail workers, landscapers, etc. with respect and dignity. They won't repost a question from 17 hours ago for karma. Busted. They put their chairs back to their place when they stand up. This especially acts that are just second nature to them such as watching out for snails on the pavement after it rains the little things that they do show how the proper teachings have been ingrained in them over time an empathetic personality not a sympathetic one they know their boundaries and never overstep respecting people as an obb one lastly they're very wholesome people who are fun to hang out with honestly owning up to their own mistakes it shows that they weren't punished for being honest which is important gratitude so be grateful when i wish you a happy cake day thank you smiley face politeness a sign yes but not a confirmation the wise karen knows that temporarily being polite is sometimes key to getting what you want but if politeness fails the mask comes off sure but up asks for a sign not confirmation Something that stands out to me is when a child is actually bothered just by seeing another child misbehave that's how you know they're doing well. They show up on time and are polite to elders even if they don't respect the monsieur. Polite to everyone, I think, not just people who are older. I find it most impressive when people are polite and respectful to the 20 Y. Oh wait staff at a restaurant or a young family with rowdy little kids. For example, holding doors open for other people, especially if they're carrying something, the saying, please and thank you, when appropriate. They have empathy. They make few promises but keep the ones they make. The willingness to admit they were wrong and then taking time to learn the reasoning for the other side of the argument. I cannot tell you how many men I ran into as an operational engineer who would pout, throw tantrums and otherwise act like giant children when proven wrong. Worse when I, a woman, told them they were wrong. I have had men over a foot taller than me throw tools and slap dash jobs together to show me what happens when I try to make them look bad. I'm not making you look bad. Jimmy, you can't weld something to a metal boat in the rain. It's just how electricity works. Sorry, your masculinity broke from being told no. None of these men had long-term relationships. And if they did have relationships they were constantly breaking up, divorcing whoever they were with. It was ridiculous. T. Elder, learn to control your emotions and see things from the perspective of the person talking to you. Instead of flying off the handle and people might be more interested in you as a person. They pull into the slow lane to let you pass. They use a turn signal. They merge lanes and match speed. Manners. I have a six, almost seven, year old son and people come to me all the time telling me how great my son is. He says, yes, no ma'am, sir. On top of the other normal manners type stuff. Please thank you, you're welcome. It was so easy to get my son to be polite. We treat them the way we want him to treat others. We don't do ma'am, sir. Not common in our area. But people often remark how polite our 3.5 year old is. We didn't even explicitly teach her please. Thank you. Excuse me. Pardon me. Etc. That's just how my husband and I relate to each other and how we treat her. So that's what she's picked up. It doesn't usually take extra effort if it's the norm in your household. We live in the South. Ma'am, sir is fairly common. But I've never met another child. Other than mine. That says it. I've never really had to push him to be polite. It's just natural for high monsieur I do have to remind him sometimes to use his manners. But it's pretty much engraved in his mind at this point. 
There are some people who think being referred to as ma'am is disrespectful. There are some people who think not being referring to as ma'am is disrespectful. A great way to make me lose respect for somebody is for that person to accuse me of being disrespectful when I am genuinely trying to respect that person. I'm 25, and still refer to people as ma'am, sir, and always say please and thank you. I DC if they're younger or older than me. A little bit of manners goes a long way. Especially the people working jobs like retail or fast food. They treat the boss and the concierge with the same respect. There isn't one, especially when I was younger. It would infuriate me when people would say they could tell I was raised right or came from a good home because I had good manners was polite all that. In truth, I was raised by a single mother who was physically and emotionally abusive. I was constantly put in situations where I was sexually molested. She knew and told me she didn't want to hear me complain about it and she constantly threatened to kill me. I learned I better keep my mouth shut and be agreeable otherwise I would pay for it. Me being so well behaved was due to years of conditioning to make myself be as small quiet and scarce as possible. Being polite, well-mannered and respectful to others is because I decided I didn't want to be anything like my mother. I've been suicidal since I was 10. Been in therapy my entire adult life. About 25 years. Just got out of hospitalization. Am currently in therapy 4 days a week. And trying to learn how to undo being so agreeable polite, anxious about how people perceive me, feel terrified of what will happen if I try to assert my own needs, all that, so for sure growing up and hearing, your mother obviously raised you right, was enough to throw me into deep depression, thankfully, I'm too old now for people to say that to me anymore, anyway, there aren't any signs, some people come from amazing homes where their parents try to instill good values in the kids, go on to be complete jerks. Others come from crappy abusive homes and go on determined not to live their lives that way. And others learn from example, whether good or bad, and continued on in life the way they were taught. It's a crap shoot, maturely expressing emotions, calmly telling you that they are upset, happy, grateful, disappointed, etc., in a way that doesn't emotionally assault you. They take responsibility for their own mistakes. I think lots of people can go through tremendous struggles in their childhood. Be neglected of care and still grow up to be amazing people. I'm not saying a parent's role isn't significant because of course it is but I don't think you can easily predict how well someone was raised. I think the parents are very important to how a child turns out but also other factors like the environment and the other people they frequently interact with are important. I don't attribute my positive traits to my father. In fact, he's exactly the kind of person I don't want to be. I very nearly turned out like him but I was thankfully surrounded by a lot of great people too. Especially more recently, I think I'd be seriously lacking in empathy or self-insight otherwise. We're always learning from everything, especially in childhood, but it's definitely a misconception that it's just from home. In fact, I think we learn the most important stuff when we are at the edge of our comfort zone and have to rely on ourselves. I think a lot of early fundamental stuff like personality and decision making is very much influenced by parenting though. I think a good parent gives you the right tools to learn things for yourself kind of like a starter pack for socialization. They don't base what they think about someone from how much money they make. When they are punctual, arriving on time shows respect and deserves respect. My buddy said he started to limit his drinking because of me. He said he would always drink because that's what was normal for Hymas to get together with people and drink. I don't drink and it made him comfortable enough in his own skin to limit drinking. So I am gonna go with. Helps you become a better person. They help even if they are strangers without any self-expectations. They have a willingness to work for what they want and they do not expect a handout from anybody. They are empathetic, 
they are polite and considerate of people even if that person has nothing to offer them monsieur. They have manners also happy cake day. Happy cake day to you as well. Talking to their parents with respect. Opening the door for others. People can get lots of good traits despite being raised badly. In fact, a lot of people have certain good traits specifically because they chose not to be like their asshole parents. So I'd say that it's easier to guess whether someone was raised right based on how they asterisk feel on the inside asterisk or how they view the world. People who were raised right tend to believe that most of us are deep down, good inside, and that love and trust are not frightening. They tend to have a secure attachment style. The G don't talk shit about the person who just left. They are well-mannered. When they don't get their way, their instinct is to be polite and accept it rather than be aggressive and demand satisfaction. Those are the people who deserve happiness. Please and thank you to everyone. Not just people in charge of you, but retail workers, janitors, fast food employees, etc. It's definitely the minimum. But using good manners with everyone to me is a sign that you were raised to treat people with respect. They push their chair back in. They know how to apologize properly. If you're successful, yet never forget the people who helped you get there. Yes sir, no sir, ma'am, please and thank you. In their interactions they show goodwill. They show a genuine interest in you during small talk. It's crazy the amount of people who are fine just going on and on about themselves. Feeling like I have to rush what I am saying before they interrupt me. ITT, responses that are the inverse of the responses to yesterday's thread. They treat everybody the same irrespective of their status in the society. They are respectful, but not a pushover. Greater than but not a pushover. This gets overlooked. I know you want your kids to be respectful of others. But I think kids, adults should stand up for themselves if something goes wrong aka. It's not a kid gets upset when he doesn't get way situation. Your kid getting upset when he asks for candy and you refuse is a kid gets upset when he doesn't get way situation. Forcing your kid to share his favorite toy with other kids. Not just friends family but kids who are complete strangers. And your kid gets upset as a kid has every right to stand up for themselves situation. They've got good boundaries. They know what their boundaries are and they aren't afraid to say so and are capable of calmly and clearly articulating that. It's a rare and beautiful thing. When a household is going through a tough and busy time where they can't be home a lot on trash. Pick up day you arrive home and find that, obviously, your neighbor placed your garbage bins by your side gate from the sidewalk to help out. Good people, always reciprocate. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.